today i will talk about the theory behind uh, bilging of end and uh, intermediate compartments uh, in that i will also take up a worked example and show you how to work it out but let me first discuss the theory behind solving the problems that involve the bilging of any kind of end or intermediate compartments on ships so let's get started so as you can see here on your screens the diagram shows you that there is a vessel the length of which is uh, denoted by the capital letter L uh, the breadth is drawn on the side here and the center of flotation of the vessel is denoted by the letter F based on the original water line which also forms the basis for the initial draft here all right now you see the compartment towards the let's say the forward part of the vessel and uh, this being the forward part of the vessel yeah the compartment on the forward most end so this is the bilging of an end compartment uh, this compartment has been bilged the length of this compartment is uh, denoted by the small l or l in a lower case right so therefore the resultant length will be capital l minus lower case letter l here right now as the building takes place and water starts to ingress in this compartment the water line will shift and become w1 l1 which will also result in the increase of the final draft so the final draft will definitely be more than the initial draft because as water starts to get into the ship the ship will start to sink all right but there are some other essential things and of course depending on that as your because the forward part of the vessel will start to get water and the forward the trim will of course change the forward part of the vessel will become heavier and as a result the center of the flotation will also change depending on the amount of water going in depending on the location of the compartment so on and so forth but some of the other things that you have to remember is that the original center of flotation here is formed by dividing the length between perpendicular the original length between perpendicular by 2 the revised center of flotation that we have marked as f1 can be found by dividing l minus l divided by 2 you know what l minus l is it's given here it's the overall length of the ship minus the length of the compartment now when you uh, see a question like this in your exams you will normally be required to find either a new gm transfer or new drafts or both of them or a component based on the formula for the calculation of one of them all right i'll show you what i mean i'll take up a worked example which is a bit different and i'll take a more worked examples in the future but let's uh, start uh, understanding what formulas are involved in such calculations so what you normally have is trim calculations or gm transfers calculations so when i say trim calculations that also means new drafts forward and aft after building so the one of the first formulas that we discuss or we use is mctc equals displacement which is the original displacement multiplied by longitudinal gm or longitudinal metacentric height divided by 100 times length between perpendicular now here the gm or longitudinal gm can be found by subtracting kg from the longitudinal km if kg is not given assume that your gm longitudinal is equal to your bm longitudinal for your km longitudinal can be found by adding kb plus bm longitudinal bm longitudinal can be found by dividing the moment of inertia by the original underwater volume the formula for the moment of inertia is of course b l cube divided by 12 where b is the breadth of the vessel l is the length of the vessel kb is often found for box shape vessels by dividing the draft by 2 then you can have to or you may have to find the change in the trim in centimeters so that can be found by dividing the trimming moment by the mctc so once you can find mctc you can find uh, you can put it in this formula here the trimming moment is defined by w by d where w is the rate of water added up to the original water line and d becomes the distance from the center line where the weight was added then trim aft or change of draft aft due to change in the trim can be found by multiplying total change in trim from above multiplied by the longitudinal center of rotation or lcf divided by the length between perpendicular of the vessel make sure that if water plane is not broken 
then your center of rotation will not shift then you can find out your trim forward by multiplying change in trim by the difference between length between perpendicular and the new longitudinal center of rotation divided by the length between perpendicular and finally the last formula is mean sinkage which is equal to bodily sinkage can be found by permeability times the volume divided by the area or the intact water plane area minus permeability multiplied by the area of the compartment now we've discussed this formulas before when we talked about permeability and bilge, bilging of midship compartments so i'm sure you will see those videos otherwise just go into the link below and you can find the video and see it but i will also show you its application here in the worked example below so you have a better idea of how the question might be framed and how you may have to find out certain parameters here so the question says it's a box shaped vessel with a length and breadth of 120 by 20 this is floating at an even keel draft of 4 meters it has a compartment 10 meter long at the aft of the vessel the compartment has a watertight flat 2 meter above the keel and cargo of certain permeability is stored in the compartment above the watertight flat as the compartment gets bilged above the watertight flat and the vessel's new drafts are found to be 3 meters and 5.6 meters you have to find the permeability of the cargo so as soon as you read a question in shape stability please try to make some diagram to make some sense out of it your diagram doesn't have to be beautiful like you can see my diagrams are not beautiful at all they are very ugly and uh, you can make a diagram just to understand what may be happening so that uh, you can conceptualize it better so as you can see i have drawn the ship i have marked the length of the vessel and the breadth of the vessel i have marked the original water line which shows a draft original draft of four meters then the length of the compartment at the aft is 10 meters there's a watertight flat with a height of two meters then there's some cargo that has been filled here with these these small pebbles are showing the cargo and then i've also shown the bilging that has taken place below the water line now naturally because it is the end compartment as the water filled in the aft draft had to increase and the forward draft had to reduce now although we were given the even keel draft of four meters the aft draft increased because of the ingress of water became 5.6 and the forward draft became three meters now let's get started on how to solve this question so your initial draft before bilging was four meters and your final drafts after bilging was three meters and 5.6 meters forward and aft respectively so your final mean draft can be calculated by adding the forward and mean draft dividing it by 2 so 3 plus 5.6 divided by 2 gives 8.6 divided by 2 which is 4.3 meters now your final draft or mean of final draft minus initial draft 4.3 meters minus 4 meters will give you your mean sinkage so that is how much your vessel has sunk by from the original condition to the final condition 0.3 meters so your mean sinkage as you see in the as you saw in the formula above also equals to permeability by the volume of the bilged compartment divided by area or water plane area minus permeability by the area of the bilged compartment again all right so 0.3 will be equal to if we put the in the formula 10 by 20 by 2 this is of the bilged compartment of course this is the intact water plane area 120 by 20 and this is the area of the bilged compartment again or rather this is the total area not the so this will give us the intact area sorry this is the total area so total area total area of the water plane total area of the water plane minus the area of the bilge compartment will give us the resultant intact water plane area all right so then it's simply a matter of putting the values in the formula getting the answer so the above the numerator will become 400 p divided by 2400 minus 200 p take it here so this will become 400 p which is equal to 0 0.3 multiplied by 2400 minus 200 p 
in parentheses and as you solve the equations you can see that you will get P as or permeability as P stands for permeability as 1.565 but as soon as you get 1.565 remember it is a figure of percentage so you will have to convert it into a percentage by multiplying with 100 and then your answer you get is 156.5 percent of permeability for that particular cargo as given to us in the question all right so this is how the um, some of the numericals are presented or designed to the students in the exam regarding uh, bilging of end compartments i'll take up some more examples in future and show you how the different numericals are worked out hopefully you'll have a good understanding of this topic uh, by then let me know if you have any questions through your comments and i'll be trying my best to answer them all the best guys.